Hey guys, what's up? This is Pogo Bounce, and today I am playing the Dauntless Founders Alpha. All right, here we go. I got to watch a little video where they explained about the development process and what's going to be happening. So now I get to make my character. Let's see, by selecting two ancestors. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna see how this works first. Okay, that's really cool. So it chooses the shape of the face off of the shared features here. Yeah, uh, what my friend said was kind of true. This is a little bit of a, like a RuneScape 3 feel to it. All right, let's 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 go with the face here, hair. Here, I'm just gonna I'm gonna fast forward all of this unless there's a really cool part Alright, so I think this is going to be my character. Also, I was realizing that there's still all these different sliders and stuff, but that thing where you pick your two ancestors, that's such a genius idea. In most MMOs, a lot of people just go with a base character just because they don't want to take the time to do all of the customization options, even though they're going to be playing with that character for so many hours. But that gives everybody a certain amount of customization without having to spend hours on making a character that's still going to be unique to them. So if you look at two characters, a lot of times they're not going to be the same and that person only had to spend a few seconds actually making their character. So I think that that's genius and then the fact that you can just make slight adjustments and stuff, it just adds on to the uniqueness of your character. But uh, I'm excited to get into this game, so let's do this. They did a fantastic job with the audio so far. I feel like I'm in a theater. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, cool. So you can get to that any time that you get a little bit of confusion. I suppose that's probably Nasher over there. Alright, I'm kind of feeling the uh, Monster Hunter part already. You have to get some momentum in your movement. You're not just immediately at full sprint whenever you press forward. Hey there. Is that how we're going to do this? And whenever you get hit, it definitely feels like it's your fault. There's no cheap shot so far. Yep, that was my bad. Whoa, alright. Let's try one of these uh, special moves. Whoa. Alright, that's pretty cool. I don't know how much I've done to him though. Oh, 
Something happened. Didn't like that. The combat feels pretty good, I have to say. And I mean, it's almost hard to believe that this is early access. Except for the few little graphical errors every now and then. Okay, so every now and then they'll get stunned whenever you deal a lot of damage. You can get in and do a bunch of combos. Oh, I killed him! Tooth Fragment and Dulled Scale. Island cleared. Oh, okay. Cool, so you go, you have to find and beat the, uh... I don't know what this is, but... Style core, aether core. I feel like I accomplished something. All right, I was at uh, 60 FPS whenever I was fighting the, what is this? I'm gonna back out of that for now. Let's go find that guy. But uh, now I'm at 30 FPS, but Again, early access. Hey there, Skipper. What's the word? Greetings, Slayer. Chain blades. My weapons have no equal, except other weapons I've made, of course. Ha! Good armor's always in season. Ready to ship out? Hey there, Rook. Rogue is probably the lowest form of any monster. Hunt a rogue shrike. Gotta say, I really like how they actually physically drop you onto the island. Cool. I'm out of breath. What is this? Got some Aether Flux. Got some more Aether Flux. And now it's empty. Cool. Okay, so that's a new thing that's really cool. You can actually go around and find things on the map and extract resources from them. All right, so I guess the next step is uh, kill that thing. Uh-oh, knocked it down. Going in for the kill. Oh, wait, it wasn't stunned. Can I get this? Gimme gimme. I didn't get anything. Does that just refill my lantern? Whoa! Wow! Alright. He just used a freaking wind scar at me. Shrike uses gust. It's not very effective. Alright, come on, this has gotta finish it. Is that it? No! My god. How much life do you have? Can you just die? Thank you. Even though you haven't. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god. What?
What is happening? Why is it telling me how much airship fuel I have left? Am I supposed to go find it again? I don't see it. See, the problem with this part is that the game doesn't properly explain what your lantern does, but if you just use your lantern, these little particles come off and they fly towards the hunt. So all I had to do that entire time was use my lantern and follow the particles, but I didn't know that. So if a developer is watching, please explain what the lantern does. Wow, I passed right by it. I feel like an idiot. I didn't realize how big this area was. Will, will you just get killed already? Majora's Owl. Do you ever die? Do you ever run out of health? Come on. Finally! Brow Feather and Dulled Scale. Interesting. Alright. Well, gotta get into a cinematic area though. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. Because I just spent a lot of time just looking around and grabbing stuff. Master of the Hunt. The Damage Dealer. Gorgon513. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I like that uh, little eyebrow raise, ladies. Shouldn't you be training? What do I think of Dauntless? I think that I can't wait for it to go into op open beta or for the game to be released. There is a goat on that roof. Because I had a lot of fun killing the bosses, or not the bosses, but the behemoths. They feel like bosses. They have a lot of health for one person, but I think if you actually had a team that it could actually be a lot of fun, and obviously they would be killed about four times as fast, so you wouldn't spend about 20 minutes on one behemoth. Um, definitely think that uh, the whole resource gathering thing probably should be explained a little bit better, but I'm sure that's not super important right now with everyone having the Slayer pack and the Founder pack. Um, as far as gameplay goes, I, it's it's pretty smooth. Uh, the frame rate is a little off, but that's because it's an alpha. Um, I'm really excited. I That's all I have to say. This is an awesome game. An awesome game and I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like and I can't wait to play with other people because as this is the closed alpha beta test whatever there's it's hard to find people to play with there's not a whole lot of people here but once it becomes open or maybe even give it some time for people to see and the name to get out and it's gonna be awesome um, that's about it that was after an hour of playing the game though I will probably be doing another video over this or more videos I don't know however many videos yeah this was really exciting and I'll definitely come back that's that's the main thing I am gonna come back I'm gonna play more of this game probably gonna make some progress in my own free time but uh yeah, that that was a lot of fun. But anywho, uh, thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Thank you for sticking around, and I'm going to get this out as soon as possible while it's still fresh. And for anybody who's just checking out the channel for the first time, maybe just watching because of the Dauntless review, welcome! Thank you for watching. I'm... <laughs> I can't thank you enough, really. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.